This Sunday is the biggest event in pro wrestling history. Over 80,000 wrestling fans will be heading to Wembley on Sunday. The first ever AEW show in Europe. As the stadium hosts wrestling for the first time in over 30 years. So once again, it's been a while since I've put the camera up and spoken to a camera or done anything like this. It's been a bit of a busy summer. So what I want to do is I want to give some predictions to kind of give an idea of what I'm thinking going into this event. I'm not the greatest with AEW or AEW booking. My retention with watching AEW is quite inconsistent. I'm always following what's going on, but I'm not watching the show through and through like I do with WWE. But I know enough to have an idea about what's going on, what could happen. Some matches more than others that I know what's going on. And that depends really on how invested I am in the match or the story. But without further ado, let's just start with the predictions. And we're going to start with the opening match, which is in the zero hour or the pre-show. For the Ring of Honor Tag Team Championships, it is Aussie Open versus MJF and Adam Cole. I'm going to go for the challengers. They're both competing for the World Championship in the main event of the show. And their story has pretty much been the story of the summer in AEW. MJF and Adam Cole, unlikely allies, become really good friends to the dismay of Roderick Strong. I think the main event would have a different and interesting dynamic if they're holding the Ring of Honor Tag Team Championships. Also with the added story that it's the only Ring of Honor title that Adam Cole hasn't won. It kind of adds another level to the match. And yeah, I, I, it's very... Is it Was it WrestleMania 22? WrestleMania 23? The one where John Cena and Shawn Michaels fought for the title and they were tag championships? It's given me that kind of vibe. So I've got the challengers winning this match. Sticking with the tag team championships, we're going to go to the AEW tag team championships now. It's FTR defending against Young Bucks. Going to keep it short and sweet. I think the Young Bucks are winning because of what's going on with Cash Wheeler at the moment with all the uh, aggravated assault charges uh, back in Florida. I can't see AEW keeping the tag team titles on FTR if Cash Wheeler's got all this going on. There's uncertainty if, he, if he's even going to be at Wembley. So why would you put your money on FTR? What is going on with my hair? Jesus Christ. Next up, we're going to go for the AEW Trios Tag Team Titles. It is the House of Black versus the Acclaimed and Billy Gunn. I thought Billy Gunn retired. Did he not? Did he? Is he back? Um, I think I'm get, I'm going to guess there's a feel-good story here with Billy Gunn coming back for this match. Maybe this is his retirement match, so House of Black could win. But I'm going to go for the feel-good and I'm going to say that the Acclaimed and Billy Gunn are going to win the Trios Tag Team Championships in Wembley. Next up, another tag team match. This is going to be a common theme, by the way. It's the Coffin match. It is Swerve Strickland and Christian Cage versus Darby Allen and Sting. I didn't think that in 2023, I'd be seeing Sting live in a wrestling match. He re He's retired quite a few times, but he's still going, and he's in another stipulation match. And you'd think that with it being a big show, with it being Wembley, with it almost definitely one of Sting's final matches, and the stipulation being quite a dark match, you'd put your money on Darby Allen and Sting. So that's what I'm doing. Darby Allen and Sting are going to win. Next up, it's the Fatal 4 way for the AEW Women's World Championship. It is Hikaru Shida defending against Soraya, Tony Storm, and Britt Baker DMD. I've got Soraya. Um, I don't know why I said her name wrong a minute ago. I'm going with Soraya. She's the British girl. Well, she's not really the big name. They're all big names in this match. But Soraya, the British girl, home crowd feel. She only lives like an hour and a half away from Wembley. Uh, it would just be really neat to see her win the title, I think. Especially with the comeback story from her injury. Next up, we're going to go for the FTW Championship. A title that's... Is it sanctioned by AEW? It's, it's confusing. I don't think it is. I think it's just a... Placingibo title in AEW. It's Hook versus Jack Perry. Um, I'm glad that Hook's got a shot at Wembley. It's going to be great to see him. I think Jack Perry is going to win, though, because I think the idea is that he's going to retire the title. Next up, it's a New Japan special. It's a trios match. It is Kenny Omega, Kota Ibushi, and Hangman Adam Page against Konosuke Takeshita, Juice Robinson, and Jay White. I've gone for Omega, Ibushi, and Page. I just think this match warrants a good feeling. I'd I've, I've gone Kenny Omega. You can't bet against Kenny Omega. Next match is Stadium Stampede. It is... Who is it? Blackpool Combat Club. So it's John Moxley, Wheelie Utah, and Claudio Castagnoli with 
Ortiz and a returning Santana or Mike Santana. What what's the need for the Mike you were called when you were just Santa? I don't know. Against Eddie Kingston, Penta El Cerro Miedo, and the best friends, which is Orange Cassidy, Chuck Taylor, and Trent. Uh, I've got Blackpool Combat Club. They're more of a stable group, and they're a bigger name to win the match. And there's a lot of face wins I've got here, so a heel win. Just balance it out a bit. It makes sense in my head. Next up for the real world title, it is Samoa Joe challenging CM Punk. This is a match with years and years of history back to the Ring of Honor days. Samoa Joe's gone on an absolute tear as the Ring of Honor TV champion. But I think CM Punk's going to win the match. You can't bet against CM Punk in these matches. Next up, and this is the match that I'm really excited for. And I would not be surprised if this opens the show. It's Chris Jericho against Will Ospreay. What a match this is going to be. I've just watched the go-home angle on Dynamite, which would have been last night as I record this. Ospreay cuts a banging promo. He is quintessentially South Southern English. He is such a lad, and he's just brilliant. He, li he lives within half an hour of Wembley. It's as much of a home ground to him that it's going to be for anyone. He has to win this match. But I think he's going to win the match because Sammy Guevara is going to cost Jericho the match. I think they're going to lead on to a massive program between Jericho and Guevara, which probably will close out the year. I think Guevara being the only one from the Jericho Appreciation Society to not leave but stick by him has to have some deep meaning. Because Guevara has shown time and time again how frustrated he is with Jericho. But he's been by the hip the entire time. So Guevara... I believe, will turn on Jericho. Will he join the Don Callis family? Potentially. I don't think the Don Callis and Takeshita project is working. And to keep Don Callis... Don Callis is working. Don Callis is good at being a dick. Really good at being a dick. But I think to elevate him further and elevate a star that the fans are going to want to get behind, I think Sammy Guevara... Would work better with Don Callis. And then the main event, MJF defending the AEW World title against Adam Cole. Like I said earlier in the predictions, I've got my money on them becoming the Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions. I don't necessarily know if there's going to be a blow-off here, but All Out is quite literally the week after. So I feel like there could be a rematch thing going on here. I don't know if there will be a time limit draw. It'd be quite cool if there's a time limit draw because that is what happened in their previous world title match. But will they end the show with a time limit draw? I don't think they can do that. I'm going to say MJF. MJF is going to retain the world title. Fans are loving him at the moment. And he is he's quite a draw at the moment. So yeah, MJF is going to win. Fuck me, there's a lot going on. See you in a few days. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. No, something has just come out in the world of pro wrestling, which is completely shocking. And I'm literally filming this the night of when I filmed the prediction section of this video and look i'm i'm wearing my work uniform i've just finished work i've never disclosed where i work and i'm keeping the logo out to still disclose that but it just shows how serious i mean it, do, it doesn't show how serious this moment is but you get what i'm trying to say the shocking news in the wrestling community not long after i mean terry funk uh was confirmed to have passed away yesterday at the age of 79 but today at the age of 36 it's been revealed that bray wyatt also known as uh windham or his name was windham rotunda has passed away um obviously bray wyatt uh former 
multiple time world champion in WWE. Um, one of the shocking releases of the pandemic era. Um, and probably the prob and probably the most sought after return after COVID. Uh, we the fans brought him back. Um, and it's you know very sad. Uh, on a creative standpoint, I can imagine. Uh, he only got one match that being against the now, uh, popular LA Knight, at the Royal Rumble, and he'd gone from our screens because of health issues. Um, now we know how serious and significant those health issues are because Bray Wyatt would never, Bray Wyatt would never return. Um, and look, we're gonna go on to the fun in a minute, but I just wanted to really include this in the video as we are following my timeline heading into All In and this is a massive wrestling related story, especially I guess you could tie it into AEW with the fact that Brody Lee, a former member of the Wyatt family, passed away suddenly at an early age. Um and he was obviously big in AEW. Um, so, you know, the lighting's not great. But I guess that's perfect for the kind of character Bray Wyatt was. So, I just wanted to pay tribute. Um, it's the first wrestling death that's really shook me to the core. Um, Bray Wyatt had a creativity that I admired, you know, uh, he always brought something different, I remember when he won the WWE title at Elimination Chamber, that was a huge moment, a massive, massive, massive moment, um, and it's just a shame that whatever he had in his locker, in terms of storytelling, will never truly be shown. Rest in peace, Wyndham, from somebody who you never knew existed. Morning, everybody. It is the morning of All In. I am now on my way down to Rochester Station to make my way into London St Pancras from their tube into Wembley. It's roughly about half 10 now, so fingers crossed I should get to Wembley by 12. I'm meeting a few of my friends that I used to work with in Carlisle, uh, which is very exciting. I haven't seen these guys since I left Carlisle. And while I'm on the point about those guys, they have their own wrestling uh, production, YEW on YouTube. I'll leave a link in the description for those guys to go and check out if you'd like that sort of stuff. This is my second wrestling event that I've ever been to. The first one I went to was NXT when they went to Royal Albert Hall. Uh, I went on the second night. That was the show where they had a lot of the NXT guys from America come over. And off the top of my head, there's a few people that have been on both shows. Off the top of my head, I'm thinking, Tony Storm, Adam Cole, uh, then Alistair, now Malachi Black. Even if Nigel McGuinness is on commentary, then he would have commentated at both events. There's a few others that I think are lurking around as well, but off the top of my head, I can't remember those three are the main three, or those four are the main four that I can think of. I'm just very excited for this event. Let's make our way down to Wembley. It's that soul, it's that soul, bro, it's that soul I don't do love, I don't do love, I'm not Romeo I'm trying to get bad, I'm trying to get bad, man, I hope you know You can catch my drift, catch my drift like a Tokyo, whoa It's that soul, it's that soul, bro, it's that soul I don't do love, I don't do love, I'm not Romeo I'm trying to get bad, I'm trying to get bad, man, I hope you know Catch my drift, catch my drift like a Tokyo. I'm gonna film 
damage bit on Snapchat quickly, that's why the frame rate's dropped. I'm in the portal toilets just quickly. The toilet's gonna go in second gear, what the fuck is this about? What the f Oh my god. That Oh, that's fucking weird. Don't like that. I'm gonna go big, it's that so. Can't stop me, I'm a rock, cause you know I will go. On my life, no me, by all the yo, yo, go crazy. You can lose control, big mouth, but yeah, on Netflix. Wicked, but you should be a dead witch. Not trying to get backlash, like Brexit. Back to the edge, just like an edit. The balls in my half, like one, two. I won't give it back, I don't want to. Say the truth, it's scary, and I want to. All my exes in the pits, they don't want to. Do what I want, it's never PD push the cycle. You know, we just saw on the earth, know that you just see me. Get drops every time when you see me, see you, and how you can hold my fire. Listen to the noise, this bear hasn't even started yet. Oh my god. This is massive. This is massive. This is, hands down, one of the best moments of my life already. And it's, I've been here like a minute. Wow.
or two months ago, we were going to bring you back to the top and put the gold you deserved around your waist.
and just like that, AEW All In at Wembley is done. Don't know if you thought that at the end. Tony Khan has announced next year it's happening again. And I'll see you next year.